So to get to the BIOS on your Lightning Panda Alpha, you have to just hit the delete key, like just spam it uh, right after you turn it on, and then it should go to this. If it doesn't, it might skip over to it, and then I think you can hit uh, F6 and F8 or just spam that all the function keys, because uh, I found that like sometimes it would skip the BIOS, but then you could go to uh, go to like Windows like a boot menu thing and you could tell it to go to the BIOS but most of the time hitting the delete key works so I, I don't know what's up with it so here at the BIOS this is the main screen here nothing too interesting you know you got your language your date and your time and all that now all the interesting stuff's under the advanced tab so here we just have you know you can wake on land you could turn that on if you like using as a server or something and you can just straight up turn off your Wi-Fi that's pretty convenient if you don't want the Wi-Fi on and then there's the f all the, the f fun stuff with the fan and uh, yeah, there's that there now there's these are the only options you can get for the fan like the fan starts at 60 and stops at 50 and you know these ones down here I have it set at this one for thermals and there's Arduino power control. You can have Arduino run when it's off. And here's some other stuff. I'll just go through these menus. So if you are looking at any potential options you might be using, here are all the options here. Just all the CPU stuff and uh, I think the power states and stuff. Here's some network stuff and trusted computing. Now, that's pretty much all the stuff that's really there. Now, moving on to the chipset. This is all like uh, just miscellaneous settings. Uh, there's the USB configuration here, you know, pretty self explanatory. Just basically, you know, tells you you can actually disable your USB ports on here. And when it's talking about the USB ports 1 through 4, I believe 1, 2, and 3 are the uh, the USB 3 ports and then the fourth one is the USB-C one as far as I know and then of course you know legacy you know support and stuff and this is for uh, the SD card controller so you can actually technically boot it from flat uh, you got your booting from flash stuff and your strength your you know, ohms for your particular I.O. tier, the flash storage on it, and then yeah, the SD card controller for micro SD card slot. And then here's the NVMe configuration. Now here, it won't it won't show anything. I'm actually running this on an external graphics card right now. Now if you had an NVMe drive, you can see basic options for it. But if there's nothing, if there's no nothing in the NVMe slot, it'll say this. Or if there's a graphics card running off of the PCI Express 4X, it won't be there. Now here's the SATA configuration. You know, there's no SATA ports on here, but I guess you could be using SATA over USB 3, technically. Here's the graphics configuration. Now here's all the options for the integrated graphics. Of course, I'm not using it at this point, but there's different. You can allot it more. You know, more memory. So the, the different displays, uh, so one of them, I forgot which one it is, I think this integrated FX is like for the display they haven't released yet, but it'll clip on directly on the Lottie Panda. Uh, the PCI is uh, the HDMI one, I think, and the SG is the USB-C, and then all the allotted graphics stuff I have it set to all that but you can go up to hold two gigs allotted out of the eight gigs available and that's all the chip set moving on to security you can set an administrator password and then there's some secure boot stuff down there and yeah you can get keys set up with it and everything and then then there's the boot menu over here and yeah that's all the stuff there 
And yeah, nothing nothing too hard. All the options are on the right side. You see, you know, it tells you what to do if you're wanting to switch a boot order. And then here there's also there's a quiet boot. You can also like uh, do some other stuff with the boot menu and ha have like a timeout delay and stuff set. And then the, of course the there's a boot override uh, down at the bottom. That's basically used for if you're just wanting to go uh, only one time boot something. Let's say like you want to boot to USB or something. Well you can go down to the boot override and it would show up there if you had one plugged in. And then you can just override for one boot. And then just all the you know you can reset the BIOS and the default options and there's save and ex exit and save and discard. So that's all there is for the the BIOS as of January 2019. Uh, there should I wish there was a BIOS update for more for like fan control, but that's just me. Cuz I wish you could just have an all on for the fan or have some more customizable like temperatures you want the fan to turn on. And there, there's the BIOS overview. Well, if you like this video, you know what to do. If you don't like it, well, put a thumbs down. And that's all.